I'm Janet, and this is Janet's other corner. In any, uh, anyway, good afternoon. Um, let's see, this is December 19th. We're already into the 15th uh, lesson. And last week and the week before, we talked about uh, uh, portraiture and the ideal uh, proportions. The eyes being about halfway down the head, and and then the and the end of the nose here is about halfway between the eyes and the chin, and the mouth is about one third the way down from the nose. Well, all of that's different in caricature. Caricature, we're having fun with the face, and exaggerating, um, bringing out, trying to bring out that that person that's inside inside the in, in within within that person bringing them out uh, within their features showing their features um, for ages exaggeration of the nose and yes we've done that a lot and uh, the the history behind and let's see uh, lots of different caricature artists in the past Al Hirschfeld, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I don't have an example of the five, I think it was the five faces of the, let's see, of, ooh, the five faces that uh, brought across like gluttony um, uh, and some other vices that aren't really becoming. And I was really surprised to see that. And he also says that uh, with a strong draftsmanship in the back of us, chances are you're, you're gonna grab onto caricature uh, quickly. And, and knowing that we can break all the rules here, uh, the eyes not being halfway down the head, but if they look, if the person appears to have a very small forehead. I've come across people that literally have a forehead, maybe an inch high, uh, in my days of face painting. Um, and then they want a princess crown. I'm like, hun, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Um, anyway, with Leonardo da Vinci, David Levine, you've probably seen his work. Uh, he, as you can see up here on the board, uh, born in 1920, he's gone. I look at uh, two different sources here. One told me that he was born in 1920 and another one told me in 1926. That's six years different. Something, uh, something's not right there. But anyway, um, David Levine, uh, Esquire, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of caricature, his process uh, he started out with a lead pencil, and then once he sketched it, smeared it, and then inked it. And what uh, I read somewhere, once he inked it, he felt like he flattened it again. But he had to do that for publication. Uh, we also have Gerald Scarf, uh, excuse me if I don't say some of the names right, uh, Gerald Scarfe, that with the uh, highly stylized caricatures. Uh, Scarfe, let's see if we have an example up here. No, I don't think so. Uh -uh. But he got, he got the idea of the pinwheel eyes from Al Hirschfeld. Al Hirschfeld did a lot of work with, um, well, similar work to Miguel. They're the ones that come across with the pinwheel eyes. And with, those, with eyes like that, um, pretty much giving the viewer the idea that they have light eyes instead of dark eyes. Up here uh, on a few of the ones that I played around with, the lighter eyes, I couldn't quite get the swirls in there, but with uh, Paula ne Negri, up here, um, I just drew them a little bit lighter, but I played around. I tried to exaggerate the features, not quite to the abstract. I'm not quite there yet, and you probably
probably don't recognize any of these film stars, but I thought I would choose some from the 1920s, Stay Safe, because with caricature, it's, it's exaggeration, it's satirical. Um, I, men, uh, you know, they are more than welcome, are not more than welcome, but men welcome it, uh, they can laugh at it much easier than women. And that's why whenever we go to caricaturize women, take a little bit easy. You know, if they have a, a nose that's bigger than their head, um, well, with it but there's chances are that it it may not be accepted by the sitter uh, I read some of these uh, um, caricature artists they'll do drawings of people and, and women especially and, uh, and then the woman gets upset at the way that she's drawn and pretty much they have to scrap it. They can't use it for a publication. Of course, back now with the web, everything's different because back then um, the biggies were the magazines um, to, to draw for advertising, which was really big money. And then editorial cartoons. And also, let's see, uh, drawing caricature for parties. And we see that a lot today. And uh, we have some very fine caricature artists here in Albuquerque. Um, I can name one offhand, Andy Valdez, but I know that we have many others that I'm missing. And they do beautiful work, awesome work. Uh, I don't practice it a whole lot. Um, I do uh, portraiture more so. And here, let's see, Al Hirschfeld, we talked about him. Ah, over here, we're gonna, let's see, Al Hirschfeld, up here. Um, very stylized uh, move, um, drawings, big sweeping lines, and you would think that he made them all in one movement. And as I was reading, I found that it's pretty much a composite of small broken up lines to make a large sweeping line. Here, we'll just sketch a big sweeping line. And here you can see the marks built up. We keep building them up until we have this big sweeping line. And whenever it's reproduced for newspaper, and of course, whenever you make a larger image smaller, um, it will sharpen the lines, and you won't be you won't be able to see all the little tiny lines. But then you'll see this big sweeping line, which it, you see a lot of that in all of his um, caricatures. After his, the birth of it, his daughter Nina, he started incorporating her name within. Uh, all of his caricatures. And here, let's see, over, where, 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 where? Oh, up here. I don't know if you can see it from that distance, but you may want to look it up on the web. Within this guy down here that he did, uh, I think a self-portraiture, but his daughter's name is written within the hair of this caricature right here. No, this one, this one. Nina is right there where the ear is supposed to be. Um, but after her birth, he included her name in all of his caricatures. And, he, and they're hidden somewhere in that caricature. Uh, David Levine, hmm, where is he? Down here. And here's an example of his one of his drawings, or one of his caricatures of Al Hirschfeld. And then Al Hirschfeld, let's see, Hirschfeld by Levine. So they fit each other. And you can see that there's different types of 
handling, there's very stylized, there's um, uh, talking about highly stylized, Risco, uh, I think his name, Robert, oh, I have Rod go up here, I think it's Risco, R-I-S, I hastily wrote that down earlier, uh, Risco over here, almost like a cartoon. Um, very stylized, and it, it appears to be Cher. I really enjoyed Ralph Hirschfeld's rendering of uh, Stephen King. No, wait a minute. Uh, Levine. Sorry about that. David Levine. I really enjoyed his drawing of Stephen King. Anyway, um, what they... A lot of times we can't draw these people out of memory, so we go, we we collect images, not just one, but several, because one's not going to tell you, uh, especially if it has bad lighting, it's not going to tell you a whole lot about the person. You want several images, and that's where the web comes in. You can gather several images of a particular person, especially you know, like if they're. Um, mm, let's see, in the movies or uh, political, um, political satire nowadays, I've seen a lot of it, and uh, and it's awesome. Some of the some of the caricatures people have have brought forth. I myself don't get the newspaper, so I miss out on a lot. But when I was good. When I was looking at the newspaper, uh, Oliphant was one of my favorites, and Trevor. I don't know what Trevor's first name was, but I, I enjoyed their uh, caricatures. And the, the things that we collect to make the drawings uh, to, to, for a caricature, this is it. Um, done a little bit different than a party. A party, you're sitting right in front of the the person you're talking to, the person engaging them, have them talk about themselves. And that really helps out. Um, but whenever you go to collecting uh, pictures from the web, from magazines, from books, uh, uh, stills from movies, the only way that you could probably still a movie is if you got a DVD or you got uh, Netflix or something like that where you can still it and then hurry up and do a sketch. But all of that's called scrap. And I saw that term, and I thought, well, that, 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 that's suiting, that, that fits. So uh, some of these people collected catalogs of scrap years ago, thousands and then thousands of pictures, so that later on, whenever they're asked by the paper or a magazine, hey, we need this person caricaturized, okay. So we look it up. And now, uh, like I said, the beauty of the web, we get on there, we look it up. We got a uh, hundred different pictures of Cher or somebody like that. And whoa, and uh, um, anyway, I think we're gonna have to break this into two lessons because I've spent a lot of time today talking about the history, talking about um, uh, the different artists and, the, and their approach. And uh, let's see, next time we'll actually do some sketching up here. Uh, I shared a couple of mine up here. And let's see, some of the artists. Let's see, what else? Refer let's see, references, magazines, movies, a life. And if you have a really good memory, you can possibly put one out from memory. But these people don't just do one sketch. They do several sketches of the person, uh, several small sketches. Bill Plimpton down here, you might want to look him up. He's really interesting. And uh, several small sketches and, and having the thing with beautiful people or handsome people hard to caricaturize, but he, sit, he sits down and does 20, 30 sketches until he gets something 
Sometimes it takes them a week. And we don't have really a week to do that at a party because you're sitting right in front of the person. Um, anyway, I'll pick up from here next time. And thank you so much. We shared a little bit about the artists and, and what uh, caricature is and, and getting together your scraps so that you can uh, put together uh, caricatures. Have fun with it. Thank you so much. This is Janet and Janet's Other Corner. Bye-bye.